Ultron just loses like two cylinders when he goes into the pits. He goes from roaring V10 to just complete weed whacker. He's over here just like. <laughs> All right, time to put the freaking pit limiter on. I can still hear it. That's ridiculous. Good morning, Pretty sir. Sir, where are we going today? We going on a jet or a trip in our favorite rocket ship somewhere on the east coast. Homeboy G Newell invited us out to another one of his lovely races. And the last time we did something like this was literally like almost a whole year ago. Now we're on another adventure, but this time we're going to upstate New York. Hey, yo, hop in here. Bro, what are we doing? Hop in. We're going to New York. We're going to New York? Please. Yeah. I got my own car. Should I follow you guys? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, you could just follow us. Okay. That works too. I just, I didn't know if I should just like pull up to the gate and be like, no, no, yeah, no, we got you. <laughs> Crazy. I, just, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I just watched some family like get on a plane to like go on vacation. Like, what is happening? Yeah. They live a different world. They yeah. Different yeah, they world. yeah, they live a different world. We're just like tag alongs. <laughs> we don't belong here. <laughs> well, let's go figure it out, I guess. Let's oh. go hit the P and J. Damn. All this because we know one good gamer. <laughs> Bro, this is the freaking meeting spot back here. We could do business over there in that section. This is just the lounge. Maybe get like a bed, we could cuddle up. <laughs> so what is it like when you guys like tell your parents that you're hopping on the PJ? <laughs> just casually. I've only I've only flown like six times total and four out of the six have been on a PJ. <laughs> oh <laughs> okay. I mean, he knows everyone by name. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. He's a he's a regular here. We're all boarded up except for the race car driver himself. <laughs> We're just gonna leave Gray behind on his own jet. So excited, Nick. Oh, the man himself. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Nick. And Nick. Hello, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the best surprise. <laughs> situation you lose your phone <laughs> apparently tim hit uh, my phone somewhere content. only forty thousand feet on that, 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 is is <laughs> that is the shrug of someone <laughs> who has hid someone I, I may have headed it off to someone on this plane and i don't remember who that is and who he gave my phone to so. all right well now we gotta take apart the private jet <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this another phone? Yo! <laughs> phone. Here's your phone, bro! Here, here we found it. <laughs> Somewhere obvious, and it's in this plane. You're looking in the wrong row. It's not obvious if you have to look for it. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it, right. you know, it is the most obvious place, <laughs> like, possible. It is very obvious. Okay, what, in, my, in, my, in my seat, in my backpack? Oh, oh God. Hmm. Think small. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the entire time. I should, have, I should have logged it for like an hour. You hit it in there? <laughs> uh, no, he did. I put it in there. Good call. Ah, uh, yes. Humidity. Mm. At its finest. I love being wet. What was that? Nothing. First steps into New York. What's the, what, what are you thinking? Uh, it's warm. It's still green. I like it. I like the John Deere that says follow me on the back. That was funny. Oh, they got another one over there too. Dude, I think this is literally, I think this is all that people in Watkins Glen drive. Tractor town. Yeah. What is this? It it has Lamborghini. Oh, this must be a, maybe a tractor engine? Yeah. OG tractor engine? Yeah. It's a diesel. Because I didn't assume that Lamborghini had any fuel. engines that had to do with it's aviation. Like, this is like a diesel fuel pump. Yeah, yeah. All right, where's the car, Timothy? Yeah. All right, I'll go get it. Oh, is that our ride? <laughs> That'd be nice. We're, we only have to make 16 trips. <laughs> for all freaking like eight of us. Dude, this is so sick. All right, I'm using the power. Can we take it? <laughs> the tractor. Let's just, let's just, leave, it, right let's there, just leave it at the Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, Mike blew his motor. We could put it in there. Yo! Just chop off your whole front end and just fit it in. It's probably about 200 horsepower, but you got all the torque. <laughs> so this is what it says on the motor, and you just translated it. And uh, that's what it says. So. At the end of the season, what? Fresh water? Yeah, I don't think that's correct. <laughs> From a oh. Circuit, circuit, fresh water, what? This is definitely a boat engine. Oh, yeah. Oh. I guarantee you it's a boat engine. 
because at the end of the season with the boat, you got to drain all the water so it doesn't explode. Oh. Uh, I really saw it in a riddle here. There's some clues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it did, it did say end of season in fresh water, so. <laughs> Anyone want, want a Lamborghini oil can? <laughs> <laughs> Tim, is that our ride? And then come back. Yeah, that's what I got for a rental car. Dang. So, you guys ready to go? Bro, what was the rent fees for this sucker? It comes with a winch though. It already comes preloaded with my luggage. I'm gonna hurt myself. No. Ow! <laughs> Scoot over, <laughs> badass! Scoot over, badass! Are in here? <laughs> We're all in Why? here. So is this everyone? Yes! yes. <laughs> Four, Let's go, Tim. Five, the one trip, six, and seven. The, the one trip. The they said it couldn't blast. be done. Tim Mom's like, blast. bring the groceries in one yeah. trip. Tim, is my door closed all the way? Oh, I don't know. I know. What? Oh no, it's, it's not. It's not. Okay, we have to do this again. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Ow! Ow! Let's get comfy, guys. Let's get comfortable. Bro, there are Learn seven people Tom deep in this freaking. <laughs> See, what done. even is this? Is this a Cherokee? This is so bad. This yeah, is it's, it's a felony. It's a Cherokee. I, I, this is a Cherokee. Cherokee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bro, we got, we got 27 yeah. minutes, bro. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> bro, drive. 20, it's gonna take fast. 27 minutes. <laughs> we, got, we got James May driving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Why is James, James May driving? Because he's legally the, the only one that can. At least we're all good friends. At least, at least. I don't know about that. We won't be good friends after this. Passenger hey, seatbelt <laughs> unbuckled. Did this dude just complain about a seatbelt right <laughs> now? Well, there's seven yeah, deep well, in the car. Where are we going? That way. That way. You have oh the, man. You have the direction. Bro, shut the right f up. Dude, a cop's just gonna drive by and they're gonna be like, since when did this Jeep have the McLaren F1 seating? Yeah. <laughs> Tim, can you at least go? Tim, you're going 36. Yeah, you're not getting pulled over. Go the speed limit then if you're not trying to get pulled over. What? What are you doing? Do five over like a normal person. Yeah, Dude, the seatbelt buckle is just wedged in my ass yeah. cheek right now. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Bro, Tim should be the last person complaining yeah, right Tim, now. He's the drink? one in the driver's seat yeah, to himself. Single seat. Yeah. No, I get the ticket if I can pull over. I can put this shit in manual with my ass. <laughs> Watch this shit. <laughs> well, All right, now we're downshifting. Yo, put it, put it in neutral real quick. Yo, open those I'm cheeks. Shifting. Oh, you're shifting. Yeah. We're, we're going 30. Where are we going, Tom? It's a 55. Way. <laughs> Is there any cops on ways? No. Dude, no. Oh my god, you're such a pussy. There's a. <laughs> If I get a ticket, I'm going to jail with you're all these fuckers in here. Yeah, but if trouble. I get a ticket because one of you guys didn't want to wait, you guys are paying okay, for it. Okay, we all get tickets because we're not buckled in. Yeah, I'm buckled in. How did I get the shittiest <laughs> seat here? <laughs> is there a train coming? I can't see. Yeah. No. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. No, I think it's clear, Tim. Oh, there it is. I went to back in. So we just got dropped off on some abandoned railway track. Which just so happens to be right in front of our house. Dude, if a train comes, like, at midnight it. when we're sleeping, it's gonna literally be a freaking earthquake. Someone's gonna wander out here drunk and just get <laughs> mashed by a train. <laughs> Tom, you know how to activate one of those things, right? Oh, absolutely. Put that sucker in the water. Yeah. I feel like our jet just crashed and we just got tossed out here in the middle of upstate New York. Dude, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Grown Ups. Oh, you know yeah, the retreat yeah, yeah. in Grown Ups? They got the Literally. out dog and then they got the lake house. Yeah. You ever see Grown Ups? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Isn't this? Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of. <laughs> what? We can all go up like a river. What is he doing over there? He's trying to find the. He's trying to find the oars for the kayak. Oh. Oh, we going kayaking? I'm, I'm That's not gonna There's end. There's a pedal boat. Going right now? I don't know. <laughs> he's got better. He's just he's put some like done. appropriate clothing on, sir. I don't know where going in the water. <laughs> he's going in like a full suit and tie. Off the jet into a kayak. Yeah, yeah, yeah literally. We just came off a freaking Gulf Stream <laughs> into a kayak, fully clothed. <laughs> Go hijack that sailboat. <laughs> All right, you don't like, die. Spiders in there or something. Hey, what about the? You didn't it. And Cam is off. So what's the fishing secret? Uh, how do you more. catch? How do you catch a big one? Time. <laughs> Just wait. You think we'll live? Survive the weekend? You think? We'll probably lose one person. Like one of those two, if I had to guess. I mean, if I were to guess who we'd lose, it's probably the dudes playing rock baseball right now. I know. I got him. You brought him down. That's oh, great. Yes. Nice. Mm-hmm. How funny? It is phenomenal. <laughs> He's talking to his girlfriend on the paddle board. What a businessman. Love you too, Stinky. <laughs> hey, uh, say hi to the vlog. Jack's filming. Say what? 
Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> hi vlog. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. They'll all say hi back in two to four business days. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, that the tube was like right in the stomach. <laughs> you good? Oh yeah. Yeah? Nice it's and cold? Cold. Mike's turn. I don't think I'll fit to that. <laughs> What'd you guys do? Uh, we found a frog outside. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, can't pick it up and we decided to prank Tim by putting a frog <laughs> on his dresser. Do you think the frog's still there? He's definitely still probably chilling. <laughs> <laughs> frog makes it to my room. He didn't move for like an hour. Tim he just moved. We, 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 <laughs> we were checking up on him what? and he, he was chilling. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's just there? Yes. How am I supposed to pick him up? Look how many bugs are on the corner of my... Got him. Oh, he did get him. Well play. Yeah, you gotta bring it downstairs. No, here's, here's the boy. Isn't he so cute? Isn't that so clever? They were like, bro, get Cars Against Humanity. I got you. Have the blue box. What is that? Go did he pee on it? Paper towel or something. I think the frog like pooped on it. <laughs> I warned you, Tim. I'm just trying to enjoy my cookies, bro. Here you go. I oh! Oh, little guy. He's pretty spicy. Dude, he's, he's pretty. He's pretty big. big. Shit on his fucking counter. He's shit. On <laughs> no, there's like he a little, little white stuff. He like nutted or something. <laughs> <laughs> he literally nutted on my counter, bro. That's him. That's it. What do you think it is? Is my deodorant? I don't know. What the hell? Yeah, I guess he peed on here. I don't want it to be forgotten that on this trip, we've only booked one Cherokee and everywhere we've needed to go, all seven of us have to fit into this tiny five-seater little crossover thing. Cam and Mike and Tom and Jim and Brandon and Brayden and me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Some hello. things never change, huh? <laughs> <laughs> most realistic steps that you would say like for people like my audience to get into racing like this for sure yeah that's a great question um the best two ways are sim racing and karting i was the sim racing route roman was karting alex was karting a lot of like the older guys are all karting but you know sim racing is just becoming more and more legitimate like all of my quick reaction just like muscle memory stuff i picked up from the sim and that was actually you know like i racing assetto corsa like you know even like forza motorsport is getting pretty decent like yeah. you know you can just kind of choose your level or move up through the levels and just practice and really just have fun with it that's the main thing because it's like you're not you're not going to get good if you're not having fun so, oh exactly you know, find some people who you like racing with and butt heads with and just I mean, uh, it's cool because go hard we didn't have that either like 15 years ago i feel yeah, like sim racing was yeah. nowhere near on the level that it is now so it's like now that you have that ability people can at least go down that route if they want to with ian he's really weirded out by because you know he's he's old guard he came from like you know everything was manual no abs no anything you know carded since he was like five and now you can go on the sim and you know i'll kick his ass on the sim and he <laughs> hates that it's, it's really fun. of course you know i can't beat him in the car by any means but it's yeah. pretty interesting to like that to have that resource now as a way that you can get into the sport in in a way that's you know it's real like i racing is close enough 
that I can really use it to learn a lot about the car, you know, or about a track. All the best ones, they go out and they laser scan the track. So every crack and bump yeah. and, you know, imperfection in the tarmac is recreated to some degree in the sim, yeah. which is so cool to like, I, at this track, we're coming out of the, the bus stop, there's the carousel, the really fast right-hander, and right on the end of that, you know you do it right if your left wheel just like thumps over this crack in the road, and you could just feel it through the steering wheel, and I can feel it on the sim. It's so cool <laughs> to like be able to feel that and be like, Whoa, that's just what it's like in yeah, the car. Yeah, that's a crazy detail, yeah. that's cool. We covered like the sim, but I guess in the quickest way possible, once you get a lot of seat time and you feel experienced enough, what is the kind of next step from there? Because I feel like that's also yeah, a hard I mean, way to... Yeah, like, just networking. Yeah, networking and, is networking really important. Really but, really and I guess you just kind of choose, you got a lot, like what, you know, you got Miata racing, yeah. you got Specky 46 yeah. racing. Every avenue to go through, like, in the Northwest is a great racing, like for amateur club racing, because we have Pro 3, which is like E30s, which are getting a little bit harder to find now um, because you know the car is getting older. Pro 3 cars are cool, because you can go into those for like 15 grand, yeah. and you'll be easy. And like, E46s are great too, like Colton IR car is like 20 something thousand dollars. I mean, obviously, you know, that's still a lot of money. Compared, compared to this. <laughs> Compared to that half a million dollar this, Ferrari. This is, this like, is an $800,000 yeah, yeah. car, yeah. all said and done. Yeah. Like, yeah, tw in the grand 20K ain't not looking too bad no more. Yeah, exactly. So it's whatever you can do to get yourself in the seat, yeah. you know, and then you just keep building those skills and, you know, yeah. meet people who are passionate about it, meet people who also want to move up and, you know, just whatever means you can. There's no replacement for seat time. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. At this whole track, there is not like a single car that is older than like 2015, because that's probably as old as the Huracons go. All except for this one R8 V10 behind me. That's definitely like a 2011 car, and they've been racing it since 2011 consistently. So props to these guys. That's probably one of the coolest cars here. So this GT3 Porsche behind me has very similar BBS wheels to the ones that I have for the R8. And it has this hunter green wrap on it, which completely contrasts perfectly with the finish that the BBSs are in. And it's making me want to do that to my Audi in a future state. Just go from crazy childish Harlequin to completely classy. Let me show you guys what I mean. Get this vinyl on here, whatever hunter green this is. That would be perfect. It's like so quiet here right now. So just like the quietest it'll ever be. And it's about to be the loudest a freaking thunderstorm. Yes. Dude, the drivers have like people that hold the door for them. And look at this, they're just like, <laughs> they going straight in. No, no funny business. They're just hopping right in there. Come on, Tom, man. Tom's gonna be your mandatory door holder <laughs> no, this when guy's you a, are a GT3 driver I'm in a the GT3 future. GT3 driver, that's a different tax bracket, bro. Let's move it to the pits for him. <laughs> It's starting. It's starting. The thunder's starting. The Not storm. Yesterday. Storm is brewing. It's going from quiet to really loud. Oh, that's a beamer. It was. Yeah, I think. Oh that, my God. Yeah, because they had that little burble at the end. Let's go, Gray. Let's go, Gray. We're Gray's biggest fans. Yes. All you hear is the chunk, and they all the all the sequentials get into gear. To the pit.
modding the rental? Yeah, I think we got some. And I know how to open the hood. I do it all the time. I just forgot. This guy's an expert. I'm an, oh, it's a V6! Oh You're my right. god. It's the slowest, I mean, fastest V6 I've ever been in. Dude, how in the world? This big of an engine and this thing is so sluggish. Don't, don't. So fast. Hit it. No, 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 I'm just back here. This guy's, this guy's, yelling, this guy's yelling into my ear. He's yeah. so obnoxious. Well, we got the door closed. <laughs> he got the door closed. How are you, baby? <laughs> guess, who he, guess who he's on the phone with right now. On today's episode of... Yeah. <laughs> Tim on his phone with his girlfriend. This dude's gonna get like a GT4 ride along and he's gonna pick up the phone in, in the race car. <laughs> hey, honey! <laughs> If we're all lining up on grid and we're having our own race here, what car is gonna be your weapon of choice? I'll take I'll take the Lambo Huracan. Oh, in general? Yeah, just in general. Uh, M4 GT3 car or Aston? What? Porsche. Tom? Car of choice? Groupie rally car. <laughs> the Cherokee in the pit paddock. Where's your racing team? Bro, he's right here. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm concerned Where for are the racing slicks at? Mechanics. <laughs> Not a very good mechanic. I can't even find the lap. Bro, you don't even know where your hood no, is. I do, I do. It's just been a, about five minutes. There we go. Oh, wow. All right. Start There's doing your doohickeys and doodobs. What class are you in? Uh, it's the mental car. Fastest car in the world class. we will have to compete against V6 Mustang convertibles. did you get that? It's an NSX rotor. From where? From in the trash can. They literally just tossed it in the Geico thing. Put it on the Cherokee while it's in the pit paddock. Break and it's you're gonna break and you're just gonna veer off. <laughs> Kim, you could probably sell that for like some money, you know? Yeah. I probably wouldn't take it. They're still out there. They're racing yeah. right now. No. Oh, Bro, then don't don't do race theft. You're gonna steal an NSX rotor. How rude. activities to attend. <laughs> no <point>. no. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Thank you. Hell yeah, buddy. dude. Yeah. That's insane. We're gonna go meet him over yeah. there. So Fucking insane, Today. Oh, 
Hold up the car. Hold up the car. Still got that drinking problem. Respect. <laughs> I'm on the phone with my girlfriend. I'm talking to Brandon back here. Conversation. Oh. Uh, false alarm. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Cherokee, that we had to squeeze seven of us in every day. We abused she this thing. Good. This thing took it well. Oh. <laughs> we had seven dudes inside. Whoa. All right, cut the clip. Land ho! Oh. What's your plan to get out of this thing? Oh, easy. Oh my god. <laughs>